I came into this world a very special way, and my parents have always been open to share this with me. When I was little, I used to say, I grew up in my auntie's tummy, but I am my mummy's baby, and I am very lucky because I have two mummies. I think surrogacy is fantastic, and without it, thousands of parents would be lost and lonely, never experiencing having a child. I understand that I am 100% biologically my mum and my dad's child. I was made by my mum's eggs and my dad's sperm being mixed together in a petri dish and then getting frozen for four years. <laughs> <laughs> After those four years, two embryos were taken out and defrosted. One was a complete dud because it didn't defrost properly. <laughs> and the other one took 24 hours to cleave. That was me. So the doctors were reluctant to transfer my embryo. But Laura and my mum made the doctors use me anyway. <laughs> After I was born, I was bottle fed by Laura's breast milk for a month and then I went on to a formula. My parents have always made sure I understood how I came into the world. They have answered many questions and they have never made a big deal over it. Mum also made me read a few books when I was younger about other people who had experienced surrogacy. My parents broke up after 18 years of being married, but they still support me no matter what. They have always told me that even though my auntie gave birth to me, it doesn't mean they love me any less. It just means that I am extra special. And I will always think of them as my only parents, and I will always love them more than any other person. My relationship with my auntie is obviously very close after all of this. She is almost like my other mother. In fact, her children, Lockie and Serena, are just like my brothers and sisters. We have always gotten on with minimal fights and lots of fun. In fact, I remember years ago when I was about four and Lockie was six, someone told Lockie he had a very cute younger sister, and he quickly replied, She isn't my little sister, she is my special cousin who grew in my mummy's tummy. <laughs> and Serena, who is four years older than me, took me into prep for her show and tell and explained to her class. <laughs> baby but my mummy held her in the oven. <laughs> if anyone has worked it out, my middle name is Laura and my auntie is Laura. And no, it's not a coincidence. My parents named me after her because without her I wouldn't be here. Many people have asked me if I ever felt different at school or did I ever get treated differently. And to be quite honest, I was just a regular kid. No one treated me any different. I do get a lot of questions but I guess I just want to understand. I often get asked, what's that, and why were you born that way? And I'm happy to tell everyone because it's what makes me unique and special. As I've gotten older, I have understood more and more, and I'm so grateful that my auntie has given me such a special gift. And I thank my parents for not giving up after nine years of IVF because I can't imagine how hard that would have been for them. Thank you for listening.